vlog I'm here um, at Silverstone and it looks dry but obviously out there you can see it's absolutely steaming it around down the rain. I'm here for MSD uh, Motorsports Live Days, um, it's basically a show which uh, gives got, uh, people time to go out in race cars, there's loads of different things. I'm here with Track Attack Race Club which is basically the club that I started my life in motorsport with and I'm going to be out in a 206 GCI Cup car. So uh, I've got to suit up because I'm out in the first session, which is literally in a minute. So I'm going to go to the toilet, get changed, and I'll give you a bit more information about the cars and show you some track action as well. So keep an eye on what we do and uh, yeah, windy and rainy. It's going to be fun though, it's going to be fun. So yeah, I'm out in, as I said, um, a 206 GTI Cup car, which is in the Track Attack Race Club where I used to race in my Civic Type R. Um, now no longer in my Civic Type R, I see a race Enduro KA. Um, but yeah, as almost grassroots level of cars go, like for like cars, same modifications, so really competitive racing and for a very, very budget price. I'll explain to you a lot more on the video a little bit later as to how much it costs you, where you need to go, links in the bio to everything. But yeah, this is a brilliant, uh, fun championship. These guys share the grid with um, Nippon class cars, like what I used to do with the Civic Type R. But yeah, we're gonna get you some track action as well from inside the car. Um, yeah, you'd be able to enjoy some of that and um, see what it's all about. Go by and then on the old clutch. Yeah, I've never driven this one actually, have I? Don't yeah, know. cool. Again, it's just because it's just something I'm not used to, I suppose. It's weird when you lose, you lose when you learn in a new car, yeah. how, uh, unless it's your own car, how ginger you've got to feel around it, I find. Yeah, Steed. Again, much of a muchness, so they're all the same. Um, yeah, I've been out in the car, I've been out in number 55. Um, is, it, is that what, the one? I can't really see. No, it's not that one, it's behind. But anyway, I've been out in a 206 GTI Cup uh, car from Track Attack Race Club, and um, yeah, my first time ever out in the car, and um, yeah, definitely a um, experience and a half. Obviously, um, never been out in one before, so if you've seen some weird unconventional lines, be it non-race lines or ra uh, rain lines, um, ignore it. But it's just literally the fact that, obviously I'm in a new car that I don't know and I'm, it's not mine. I had a passenger who's a, um, an advanced instructor, I think at Silverstone, so um, really, really good. He um, was quite quiet, which is good. I won't scare him, but I think he's quiet, which is normally good because it means that he's not reaching for the uh, reaching for the steering wheel and telling me off and saying that I'm doing something wrong, but it's great. Um, yeah, quick synopsis of kind of how the drive was and what it's like and um, how you can get into it. Um, yeah, they're basically, they're, I think they're around, and I'm going to ask actually in a moment, I'll ask John to um, do us a little talk a, a bit more about the um, car and the spec and everything like that. <clears throat> There's not much spec on it in terms of um, cost. And I think you can buy them for around £4,000, all in, ready to race. And I think that includes race fees, or something like that, or five or four nine nine five. But before, rather than spit out some uh, misinformation, I'll go and ask um, <clears throat> John Lord um, and give you the links and buy how you get in contact with him. Um, 
and a bit more about the race series and how to get into it. So I'm just going to do a quick little um, video and obviously talk about how much these costs and how you can get involved in basically racing in this championship. Um, first of all, hook up and look up um, Track Attack Championship. They're on Facebook, they've obviously got a website as well and I'll give you links in the bio to that. So check that out and obviously you'll be able to see how you can go about getting into the 206 GTI Cup. Um, and yeah, just a real quick synopsis of basically the cost, because I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably wanting to know how much they cost to build. So you can have the race championship coordinator, which is John Lord, and he can basically build you a car for between about three and five thousand pounds, which includes the race fee. So three to five thousand pounds all in, that is it. Pay one lump sum, you have the race car, that is yours, and literally you go out and you race, you've got the whole race roster, which is about six races throughout the season, at loads of awesome um, different tracks all around the UK. Really, really good tra tracks as well. So yeah, three to five thousand pounds all in, everything done happy days and then like I say budget tires that don't really cost any any more but I think you get that thrown in on the bigger packages but again links in the bio go check it out go and track attack race club find out and have a look at um, 206 GTI Cup and um, speak to the organizers and whatnot and ask them questions and see how quick it is um, how cheap it is to get into this kind of championship also obviously obviously if you haven't got your race license you need to go get your race license so go get your odds go get your race license it's simple enough about 500 pounds all in with your medical and then that's it you can go racing so as long as you're a competent track driver in my opinion and you've done a few track days if you've got the money it's the best thing to do go go racing and this is one of the best uh, forms of racing to get involved in um, 206 gti cup links in the bio check it out so also to reiterate how much of a budget championship this is so you all know um yeah like i say anything from three thousand pounds up to four thousand creeping up to potentially 5,000, but with your, all your race fees, all in is amazing. And obviously because it's a really controlled championship and they're all one and the same, or pretty much one and the same, there's some small differences between some cars and another, but pretty much as, as you speak, they really are so close and so controlled. Because of that, the racing's nice and tight. And the only thing really, the, the, the only difference really that makes any difference is that person in there, the driver. So. It makes it really, really fair and even, and it isn't about how much money you throw in and your bank balance. It's all about being close racing, and that's what I love about the championship as well. So yeah, go check it out, like I said. So as you'll see, they've got a uh, full cage, um, bolt and weld um, for FIA regulations. Uh, this one's got two seats in it. Normally when it races, it'll only have one. So a lightweight FIA regulated seat. Um, you can probably again change any of this, but normal battery kill switch, fire suppression, etc. Obviously, you need that. But yeah, no, pretty, no frills, but at the same time, everything you need in a race car. So, yeah, lightweight uh, windows as well, from the rear. Still glass in the, in the rear as well, but obviously, glass in the front as well, as they all have to be. And a few things like bonnet catches, fire suppression, kill switch, etc. Yeah, other than that, intakes for the brakes. You'll probably see and I you probably comment it heard my comment when I was um going out in it. And I was getting a lot of vibration through the steering wheel. Uh, apparently these are on stock brakes. Um with sometimes grooved and uh, drilled brakes with um same side pad and caliper, but obviously there is a lot of feedback um through what looks and feels like a warped disc. But apparently they do suffer from it quite a bit. Standard five-speed H-pan, no auto boxes, and that's it.
Cyprus. Apart from that, you might not have seen anything, guys. But um, yeah, that's, that's good crack. So that is the end of my day at Silverstone. I'm going to try and stay out of the um, wind so you can hear me. Um, yeah, it's been absolutely superb. Been out in two uh, 206 GTI. Oh, as a oops, I was literally just crashed. As a don't flip around. If that's your Clio race car. Oh dear, just binned it. So excuse me while cars get binned in the background. I didn't stack a car, so I'm really, really pleased. But yeah, no, that's the end of our uh, video with the 206 GTI Cup cars. Um, been at the MSD um, Motorsports Live um, show in Silverstone. If you haven't been to it and you want to get into motorsport, well worth a, um, a view, really. It's very much worth getting yourself down to a show like this because there's all sorts of a manner of um, different road cars and race cars that are here and available to go out in and also um, hire stands that basically will tell you how you can get into each individual championship as well and how you go about it. Um, there's obviously loads of cars in the pits and the paddock but there's also a show going on up the um, upstairs um, in the warmth stands that are basically in um, at this show as well so you, lots of different places you can get your parts and products that you need for your racing and also lots of different places that you can go to speak to people about how you get into racing as well um, so yeah that's really um, uh, a short synopsis of kind of everything about the whole day really and also how you get involved in motorsport yeah thanks for watching guys as always like share comment subscribe and we'll see you again in the next one bye for now